Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to display data from database here in our table. So this is going to be pretty easy. So what I'm going to do is in the index function here, I will return all the users we have. So what I'm going to do is saying users all, something like this. This is going to be easy. So what I'm going to do instead of all, I will say latest means latest user and then it should page in it. For now, we just query, let's say, 10 user. But in the future, we will add the pagination. For now, we have not added any pagination. So this is just fine. We just get 10 user and display them there. But in the future video, when we reach to the adding pagination, we, we, we have our pagination here. So next up, going to the view component here. Let me close the sidebar. So you know we have our table here. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to create another function here. Beside the create, I will uh, just add another function and I will say load users. Something like this. You can na give any name to it. So what this function is going to do, basically, should close it, I think, yes. No, this is fine. So this function is going to load user. So this is a method, but I say when it was mounted or created, whatever instead of the mounted you can say created when this component was created what I'm going to do is I'm going to call the function so I say this dot oh, okay load user this is going to load this function so this function is going to send an HTTP request to this uh, this function and it will give us all the users so I will come here since this is going to be easy we do need to you can just write this dot form dot get request and then do all this stuff what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the original axios both of them are going to use axios so i will just write axios get going to the user and then give us the data from here this is the function the data function and what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, store them in a user object so we must have a user object here so i will write users for now this is going to be an empty array this is fine but it should not be an array actually it should be an object so i will write the object we have the user object you know axios we have already this one so it is going to send a get request to the api user and then after that it will return a data object here Data basically what this is going to do is this is the short form of saying function and I'm going to give you the data as a parameter. So I did not write the function because we use the ESX version. This is another function and we have the data inside this one. This is going to store all those data to this that user, which is this user. And now we have if someone called the function what it is going to do get all the data which we send request to the API and it will just save them to this user you know user if you send a get request by default it is going to catch the index function so this is fine for now I will save it I should run it actually because I didn't run the npm run watch yeah it is done now i'll close the terminal and now let's go to our application and see if it everything is working just fine for now so i refresh it yes things are fine the only thing we need yeah it just send an http request to the user and now we have all the users with pagination and everything you know this is the whole user with all pagination so the total record is going to be three so what I'm going to do is, now we have our user object, so we will display them here in our table, down all the way up there. So this is where we are going to display. You know what we are going to repeat here? The only thing we repeat is TR, TR or table row. So this one, uh, the first row is going to display our, our table heading. These are the table headings. So the second one is going to display our user here so what we are going to write is here we are going to use v4 for the displaying before okay because i'm doing uh, i'm using a snippet here it just 
add everything for me like this so what I'm going to do I am going to use TR because I mostly do not remember what are these stuff so I'll copy this and instead of this TR I will write it and I'll remove this TR here the closing tag so this is our TR we don't need this one now and instead of the item I will say user in users this is going to be uh, this users is going to be this users and for every one of those user it is going to store that in a user variable here so this is that much easy so user as users and then you have user dot id that's it now inside this one now we have access to the user and everything we have so let's see this is going to be displaying user dot id so let's see if it is going to display user id then you have username you know it is going to be user dot name so let's save it and see if it is working so far if i refresh the page and see wait for the request yeah we have two errors here so i'll come here and say we have a type of id not found so if i check the id here we don't have it so the error is here if i come uh, to the browser you know it is not going to rec recognize the id it is because we said user but basically if i come down all the way down there we have a stored the user we have data here user data the thing is you can write user here and this data is two data here you should write another dot data here because this is going to give us the data otherwise we don't have the data either you write the data here or you can just write it all the way up there and the table user dot data so i will write all the way down there i don't need to write it here this time if i refresh the page yes it is displaying the user id in uh, in from lattice to the oldest you know we we did query like that so test and john and admin they're all here so this is this is it for them and we should display their email and all other stuff too we have email type and modify for now instead of this one we can write user dot email then okay what else we have we have user type i will duplicate this one we have user dot type mm, biography and other stuff is not necessary for now but i will refresh it and see if it is working just fine yes and modify it is set to approve of course we have to delete one of this this one yeah this one we don't need it so i'll save again and refresh it yes it is working just fine and you can just display the when the user registered okay let me do that because in the next video we will learn about filters filters and view so here instead uh, after this one we will just write created at which displayed the created at date for this one and we can say registered at okay i think the spelling is wrong so re registered at so if i refresh the page this time it should display everything for us here register at and the date you know it sh it will display the date like this this is basically this much simple but in the next video we will learn how we can modify the date type here we have the date it is not nice the author it should be like in capital something like that we will use the filters in view to do them so i hope it has been informative for you if you have any question feel free to ask below the video and thank you for watching